Roslyn's gotten used to construction. There's been lots of it lately, and that means destruction to make way for it. But it's not often like this. The Roslyn Holiday Inn has been here on Fort Myer Drive for 48 years, and it was busy, seeing near full occupancies right up to its closing earlier this year. But its architecture, old for the 70s, seemed downright archaic against the backdrop of the glass and steel towers that have grown up around it. Its days were numbered. Carefully placed charges made for a precise downfall. The apartment building across the street wasn't even evacuated. Some residents, told of the demolition weeks before, covered their balconies with plastic, a shield from the massive dust cloud. The sound could be heard as far away as Logan Circle in D.C. If you lived closer, it made for quite an awakening. I was getting ready to come out for a walk and heard the boom, and I was like, oh, what was that? Crews went immediately about the task of clearing the dust from Gateway Park, and big machines got busy clearing the rubble where the hotel stood just minutes before. Change is coming to both sides of the street. The Marriott, the Keybridge Marriott, has been here since 1959 and is the oldest Marriott hotel still in operation. There are going to be some changes there as well. Plans are to demolish the Keybridge Marriott, or partially demolish and reconfigure it with a combination of hotel and residence spaces. Change is inevitable. I think it's great. I mean, you have to take down old things to make room for new things, and I love living in this area, so I'm happy to see some effort being put into it. And the old Roslyn skyline is fast falling away to progress. Derek Ward, News 4. This looks like an accordion, right? You can see it again and again. And you can in the NBC Washington app. All right, two 25-story towers will go up where the Holiday Inn was. One building will be residential, and the other one's going to be a new hotel.